Hello guys, it's me, Roxboxy. Uh, I'm now going to show you the way I import PMX models, or MMD models, into VRChat. Now, I've said, people said to me that this is the long way around, but it works for me, and, um, only problem I've not figured out is the um, jawline, so you can actually, the avatar will actually speak. Well, it'll look like it's speaking, but I can't do that. Um, the way I do it is I remove all the morphs and it, it works. But obviously, if you are a more, get more advanced into it and all, or I get more advanced to it, I'll be able to show you on how to do that. So, okay. There's a couple of tools you'll need. You'll need PMX Editor, 64-bit. Um, the English one, you can get this with Google. I'll put the link in the description. You need Blender, of course. With MMD tools, there will also be a link in there. Um, I will paste a direct link for the zip file, because some people go into the releases and download them there, and they're broken. And then obviously you need Unity, which my Unity here is. Let me get it. Oh, it's already there. Look, 5.6.3p1. You also need the VRChat SDK, which is available on their website. There will be a link in the description for that too. Okie dokie. For a start, we need to get an MMD model. Now, I'll paste the link for this in here. I use this quite often because I've got some really good MMD models in here. It's There's another page as well which I'll use. I'll put two of my links I use. So, say we want TDA School Tico. We'll get that. Oh, there's a pass and there's a... Uh, Okay, apparently there's a pass. And there's an error. Okay, cool. Let's try another avatar, shall we? <laughs> this is not always good. Uh, we'll get a Miku. And obviously the download links will all be there. Sometimes they're up here as well. So we're going to click this one. Now this is the problem with bow roll. It's all in Japanese, so you gotta translate it. Now, as I remember, that's the download link. Yeah, that's the download link. Awesome. So the last downloading, we're gonna open up PMX Editor. Okay, I'm going to extract this into my folders. Ah, this is a problem with the names. I've had some problems with names of the folders. Let me rename that and call it... Call it this. No. Ah, oh, crap. Never delete anything. There we go. What's this folder? That is a TGA. They're all weird number names. I've had this problem before. But I'm sure it won't be a problem. Okay. Then now we need to open up the folder. So we're going to go into our drive where we saved it. Which is that one there. I'm going to open up the PMX file. That'll open up. You'll have the English and Japanese. And then you have the model. As you can see with this model, it's quite sophisticated because they've got the tail bones and they've got all sorts of bones for everything. Which is good. It saves on making the bones for yourself. So now we're going to go to. Edit, name repair, 
we're going to start with materials, we're going to set sequence, list names, they're all in English, list names on the bones, now they're all in Japanese. So we're going to right click select all, I'm going to go to translate.google.com and we're going to go from English to Japanese, I'm going to paste it. No, well, Japanese to English, sorry. Mm -hmm. There we go, there's a poorly translated... Poorly, poorly translated names. Now, you may be thinking, well, I've done the bones, I can just import it into Unity, can't I? No. Well, you can't import it into Unity, you need to go into Blender first. The thing is... They're also linked up to everything. Now, don't change Node. Node automatically goes back to Japanese. We don't want that. And we're going to copy these ones. I'm going to paste them into there. Now then, we're going to go back into here. I'm going to paste it back into there. Repair. And then we're going to do it for joint. You may be wondering why am I right clicking and pasting? Because the text box in here doesn't actually work very well. So let's just get everything right. We've got the body, we've got the joint, nodes are alright, bones are alright, materials are alright. You may be wondering why didn't I do morph? Well, what you need to do is you need to decimate the avatar. <coughs> and you can't decimate the avatar with nodes or as Unity call them, not Unity, Blender call them, key shapes. So what I do, which actually makes the avatar not not able to do emotes but you can add emotes after what I do is I go to the tab on here called morph I hit control and A wait for that to select and then we press delete and then there we're gone and then we go to file save as I'm going to call it EQ PMX oh, I'm going to put I'm going to put ENG dot PMX that's done now we can close that and then close that remember where the folder is because all your textures are in here then we're going to go into unity I'm going to select everything in here because I already was I was just doing something you don't need to do this but yeah so As this tutorial is now thinking is you've already got the MMD tools in, it's already on the sideboard here, and you've already set it up. Obviously, when you first come into Blender, you press A, select everything, delete everything, and then you're gonna go into import model, D drive, this one, this is the mo oh no, no not this one, it's my old one. And then we go into this one. You want to select the English PMX, and that I'll import. Obviously, I will not be doing the decimation on this tutorial because there is tutorials on it. As you can see, our EQ is in here. She's a bit dark, so let me minimize this, and I'll show you how to do this. Click on this plus side plus sign here. So it'll open up. And you can click off shaderless, and there you go. Your MeQ model is here. 
and the best part about it, you can decimate it easy if you select it. And you, there's only one shape key in here, you can click remove on that. And then you can actually just go in here, click decimate. This is not wise to do because you'd be decimating the face as well, which you don't really want. But on some MOD models, they put more p polygons into the face. So, it lags out a bit because you're decimating everything. But what you gotta keep in that name up here is your faces. We're at 37k right now. There we go, we're at 42. And we're still looking okay. There's another thing you need to also do, which I always forget. If you can press Alt H, you'll get all this unwanted stuff. So what you can do is you can right click on the skin, press H. Oop. I think I just hit yeah, hit the bones, don't worry. You have gotta hide the bones as well. And right click on skin, hide. And we're left with all this junk. Press B, select everything, and press delete. And then I get rid of that. Now if we Alt H and show everything. If you look, we are actually under the limit, and she still looks fine. We're under the limit. We're only at like 12, 12 k faces, which is good. I mean, if you didn't do, if you didn't click apply, you can add more faces to it to make it look, you know, a little bit better. The maximum, I would say, is pe many people have tried to get up to 9.99k. It's a bit hard to do, but I mean, when you've got a really terrible PC like mine, it's quite hard to do. Yeah, you, you can click apply. And that's our Migu Migu model. Our MMD model, now available in King. I'm gonna hide them. So normally if you would have to, if you decimated the body parts on their own, you'd have to click separate materials here. And then when you've decimated the materials, you can press can, um, A twice to select them all. And then control J. Hmm, let me get a drink. And that'll join everything together. However, we've managed to decimate it all at once. And it looks fine. So we don't have to do that. There are some models we have to do that, but there's some models we don't need to. And then all we do now is we go to export. FBX. I'm going to save it into the same thing. I normally call it untitled because obviously it's my my models. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to rename it and call it this. Just, I mean you can call it whatever you want. But I'm calling it as that for the demo of the video. And then we're going to click export. And that's exported. Now, I normally leave this open for dude and doing dynamic bones because then you can press control H and you can see where all the bones are and all the names of the bones by going into edit mode. We already click on this. There you go. Taiwan is the child bone for the whole of Tai. So then you can add a dynamic bone into that. That's what I use that for, basically. And the same goes for the hair. You can see the bones in here. Right hair too. right hair free, stuff like that. And obviously you've got all your dynamic bones for your tail, so you, like, you can click on here, and there's one up here somewhere, and then obviously this one, what I would recommend is adding that one to a stiffer, and make it all stiff, but yeah, that's not this video. It's now exported. So we're going to save this, in fact we won't save this because we need a we need a um, 
undecimated one if it breaks, so you need to do something else. <coughs> so we're going to go into Unity now. I'm going to do a new scene, because you know how to open up a new thing. I'm just going to minimize them. I'm going to create. I'm going to create a new folder. You can create a folder called text or whatever. I'm going to call it text two because we've got two textures folders in here, and it makes it easier for the video to have an empty folder. So what I do is I sort them by name, and then I can collect the uh, BMP files when I select them all. And then I can do the TGA files. Like so. Because then we don't drag in the unnecessary stuff like the PMX files and 3G objects into our textures folder. And then we're going to go into um, this folder again and drag in the FBX file. And there you go. I just drag it into here. It automatically becomes hidden. Alright, I've dragged in the wrong one. There we go. Now as you can tell, she's already textured, but she is very, 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 very dark. So now what you need to do for this is you need to go into this one, into the mesh. I normally set it for unlit textured, because that's nice and bright. I like being bright, and people complain about me being too bright, and I should use cube shaders, and to them I say up oh, yours. I like unlit textures. Because it's all about being stood out, and uh, standing out. And there you go. She has eyes. But the eyes are all weird. Hmm. I think they're the exact same eyes. Let's let's check that. I mean, it doesn't really matter, but let's have a look. Um, I don't think they're the right, but yeah, that should be fine. I mean, obviously, you can fix them yourselves. I mean, you might not have this problem. But yeah, as you can see, she's all textured. And that is how you import <coughs> an MMD model into Unity from PMX Editor and Blender. If you like this and you actually learnt something from this or it actually helped you, leave a comment in the description and uh, let me know and I might make more. I'm struggling today because I've got a really sore throat and uh, <coughs> I thought I'd make an avatar. Well, I thought I'd make a tutorial on how to do it so not a lot of people are in the dark. Hope you all enjoyed and see you next time.